From the heart of downtown Kokomo, I'm April Thatcher, and you are watching News Brief. Here are your latest headlines. The votes are in for the Kokomo Perspectives People of the Year. Here is the list of one through five. Number one, Greg Goodnight. In any given year, a mayor should be the most impactful person in a city. This is the case in Kokomo as Greg Goodnight helped transform the city into a place that has become the envy of many communities around the state. Number two, Carrie Stranahan. If you enjoyed a Jackrabbits game at Kokomo Municipal Stadium this year, thank Carrie Stranahan. If your home along the Wildcat Creek didn't flood in June with this seemingly unending rain, thank Carrie Stranahan. The city's engineer is the person who ensures that the infrastructure changes and major developments are accomplished without negative impact to residents. And this year, Stranahan excelled at his job. Number three, Steve Rogers. With a growing drug overdose problem, a desperate need for better mental health services, and a problematic emergency dispatch system faced by Howard County Sheriff Steve Rogers this year, he tackled them all. Number four, Jax. The Kokomo Jackrabbits mascot embodied the excitement and progress taking place in the city in 2015. Tough, playful, and lovable, the Big White Rabbit represents improved quality of life while inviting residents to enjoy an evening at the ball game. Number five, Jim Buck. The venerable state senator from Howard County kept the community's attention throughout the winter and spring as he spearheaded an unsuccessful effort to stop the construction of Kokomo Municipal Stadium. Buck also used his position at the State House in an unsuccessful attempt to change the law on stormwater drainage to his personal benefit. With Jax being mentioned as one of the Kokomo Perspectives People of the Year, it made us miss summer evenings at Kogmo Municipal Stadium. Let's take a look at the progress the stadium has made since the season has ended. We're here at Kogmo Municipal Stadium with John Perzik, who is the business manager for the Kogmo Jackrabbits. And we're going to talk a little bit about some things that you may not have seen since the season ended. There are some new construction. There is some new construction going on. Uh, and some of that is involving locker rooms, right? Uh, can you talk a little bit about those amenities and let everyone know what's going yeah, on? Yeah, absolutely. There will be uh, home and away clubhouses for the, the Prospect League players. And uh, this will be an opportunity for them to have their own, you know, sanctuary for, you know, for a couple games and, and uh, opportunities to, um, you know, mingle and, and get dressed for the, for the road trips. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a manager's office in there in the in the home uh, clubhouse. We have uh, laundry fittings so uh, our clubbies can uh, get the players' jerseys washed in a properly manner in a proper manner, and and uh, it's just gonna be great for for uh, all of the players that come to Kokomo Municipal Stadium. I think it's gonna be one of the best in the leagues. Okay. And last year we saw the addition of the barbecue stand and the umbrella stand. And this coming season, we will see the addition of a new concession stand too, correct? Yes, there's a, a new addition of a concession stand on the third base side. Um, many fans have, have experienced some, uh, some long lines on the first base side, but uh, we, will, we will execute uh, this year and, and uh, you know dwindle those lines down so you can enjoy the the nice food at the at the stadium at a, in a timely manner okay. and there are a couple more projects that have been completed which make the stadium look so much better such as the bullpens having turf laid in them right. yeah unfortunately we didn't have uh, enough time to get the turf and, and all the drainage down before the season, this first season. So uh, recently uh, we had Sprint Turf come out here and, and put some drainage in and uh, you know some gravel and they laid some Sprint Turf on top and it looks great. It's gonna be great for the guys. Okay, and we're talking about everybody seeing stuff when they come back to the stadium. Let's talk about coming back to the stadium. There's a lot going on next year, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, currently we're at 65 units. Um, for, for next season. And when I say units, that means uh, special events, um, including the, you know, 
uh, Kokomo Jackrabbit season. We have uh, Kokomo High School spring baseball uh, starting out here, which is going to be really, really unique. Uh, we also have a couple colleges, some some premier colleges coming out here to play. Some uh, uh, some of which are Purdue University. They will be playing uh, Ohio University uh, March 18, 19, and 20. So be sure to purchase your tickets for that. Uh, and as well as uh, IPFW versus uh, some other teams as well. So a lot of, lot of events coming to uh, Kokomo Municipal Stadium, and um, I'm, I'm excited to, uh, to execute them. I think we're all excited to be back here at the stadium. So how do people purchase their season tickets? Because we know everybody wants to be here for all of the games next season. How would they do that? We have plenty of packages available, individual games, seven game packs, half seasons, full seasons, all of which you can purchase online at kokomojackrabbits.com. And on, you know, if you're looking to call in person and, and talk to a ticket rep, be sure to uh, phone that number on the website as well. Okay. Well, we can't wait to see you back here at Kokomo Municipal Stadium for the 2016 season. Kokomo School Corporation made a significant change to the school calendar at its regular December 7th meeting. The corporation will now join Eastern Howard School Corporation in moving to a two-week spring break for the 2016-2017 school year, making the schools the only two in Howard County to offer the extended break. With the addition of the extra week of spring break, students will start school one day earlier in 2016 on August 2nd and finish one day later in 2017 on May 26th. Spring break will take place from March 27th through April 7th. Fall break will remain one week from October 17th through the 21st, 2016. Thanksgiving recess from November 23rd to 25th, 2016, and continue to the two-week winter break, December 19th through 23rd, 2016, December 26th through 30th, 2016, and January 2nd through 3rd, 2017. Holidays include Labor Day, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and Good Friday. And now, for your five-day forecast. Wednesday, gusty breezes and rain showers early. Thunderstorms developing later in the day. High of 64. Wednesday night, thunderstorms and gusty winds in the evening will give way to partly cloudy skies overnight. Low of 46. Thursday, intervals of clouds and sunshine with a high of 50. Thursday night, partly cloudy in the evening with more clouds later at night. Low of 36. Friday, partly cloudy skies during the morning hours will become overcast in the afternoon, high of 48. Friday night, cloudy with a low of 42. Saturday, cloudy with periods of rain with a high of 52. Saturday night, rain with a low of 44. Sunday, a steady rain in the morning, showers continuing in the afternoon, high of 46. Sunday night, cloudy with occasional rain showers, low of 33. Thank you for watching News Brief. For KGov2 and the City of Kokomo, I'm April Thatcher, wishing you a wonderful week and happy holidays. Stay tuned for all that's going on in Kokomo with your community calendar.